Hello, hello for the full developers, hello friends, and welcome to APX Flow YouTube channel. My name is Andre, and today we will talk about how to create nice looking PDF with image, uploading it from Flutterflow. So we will build a very simple but professional looking uh, CV uh, where we will upload our uh, avatar image from uh, Waterfall application and we'll generate it as PDF and then we'll show it to our user in our mobile application. So API Xflow allows us to generate very cool looking nice uh, PDFs and today we will create such PDF with image inside. So I will start this as image uh, PDF demo. I will create new project recreate it so you can see i have blank uh, template here i don't have any data fields i don't have any information inside if you are interested to check how to build a template from uh, scratch you can check our tutorials and see yourself how many features uh, apx flow provides for pdf generation i will use ready-made preset for this i will use screen cv preset i will use this template. I will simplify it a little bit because I don't want to send all this data. So I will remove some additional data like this, this. I will view mail form, birthday, remove address as well. We will have photo, description, position, and name. Okay, let's check it. I will remove address from here, I suppose. I will remove languages and I will remove skills. Yeah, okay. Now I need to remove this education and experience tables okay okay so you will have will have very very simple very simple pdf like this but i will insert image inside so for images for images apex flow provide us with two abilities how we can insert photo so first uh, idea is to send photo a string and second is to send photo as uploaded image file. So in, in my case, I will use photo as uploaded image file, not as image URL. So I will use uploaded image file. It will be called photo. And I have it here as image file. As you can see, we have this image already inserted here, but I will remove it to show you how to insert image into our into our template we will use insert select image uh, operation from our panel and we'll select use data field if you want to upload static image you can upload image from here but if you want to use your image from data model sent from photo flow you need to use data field and here i have my data field called photo i will leave this and hate uh, uh, 100 pixels by default you can change it if you require and i will use the image as you can see by default, my preview will contain this, this photo uh, placeholder. So now we have all this template set and I click publish button to uh, publish my project. And API X flow generate for me uh, all the required, all the required uh, guide, all the required information about how to connect uh, my uh, PDF module to uh, my for the full application. So first of all, I need to create PDF asset data type. Let's let's start let's start with our uh, application here. I will go to uh, data types and I will create a new data type PDF asset. And now I want to uh, sorry I want to uh, create data type from JSON and I will create it as PDF asset and I will copy that JSON here. I, paste my JSON and I have my PDF as a data type created. Next, I need to create custom action called generate PDF. So I will go to custom code, click create, uh, not function, sorry. Uh, I need to create action. I will name it generate PDF. And now I will go to APX flow, copy this code and paste it right here yes so we have this all this uh, data here and what we need to do in next step we need to add pubspec dependency mime package so i copy 
name of the package, go here, add my popspec dependency, click refresh, it will refresh, I click save action and confirm that I want to generate parameters and return value for my, uh, for my action. Don't worry as these, uh, these, these warnings will gone after build because we added this popspec dependency and sometimes it takes some time for, for the flow to upload actually and uh, like um, put your dependency in order for your project. And uh, this is why we see all this red stuff here. So we have this code. What it do, it sends parameters and our uploaded photo to APX flow and then return us generated PDF. And that generated PDF will be in type of PDF asset, PDF asset data types that we created already here. Cool, great. We already set integration for our PDF. So now we have all these set and we can use our template in Photoflow. Like it's a few minutes. So like, as you can see, it's very easy. So what we have here, we have first page where we will ask our user to upload some image to uh, provide full name, date of birth, phone, email, position and description. And then we will generate uh, our CV. We have all these fields here and we have change, change image button. So I will start with change image button. I need to upload my image here. So I will use, I will use this as action, upload data, upload save media. And here we allow photo. We don't want to allow videos because we need only photo and we will name it uh, like a personal image. Let's name it personal image. Okay. And we start this media. Um, after upload. And we want to bind this image to our uploaded file. It will be widget state uploaded local file. Okay, we have this already done. And when we click generate CV, we want to, when we click generate CV button, we want to call our custom code. I don't want to. Do what will it take my form? I <laughs> hope everything will be okay. And I will call my custom action generate PDF. So here I bind uh, my custom action fields, name to widget state, full name, uh, position to widget state, position, description to um, widget state, uh, description, and birthday to um, widget state, date of birth, uh, phone to widget state, phone, email to widget state, email, and photo, we set it to widget state, upload local photo. Okay, great. And now we name our action output as generated PDF. Great. We have a custom action. We have a generated PDF. Uh, variable, but now what we want to do also, we want to show preview on second page and how we will do this, we'll go to app various and add new uh, app state variable. Let's call it PDF, PDF link, it will be string uh, by default and uh, empty by default. And then when we uh, have this And we have <clears throat> that CV generated. We want to uh, save link to uh, app state, data app state. We will set PDF link from our action output generated PDF, data structure field, link, and we will send it. Let's set default variable value is empty. And we will update our app state with that generated PDF link. And then what we want to do, we want to navigate to our preview page. Cool, great. So then at preview page, we want to show our, show our generated PDF here, and we want to link our network pass to app state PDF link. So we have everything set. We will upload our image here. We will fill that data into our fields, and then we will redirect our user to second page where we will uh, where we will 
show a preview of our PDF. Let's check how it works. So our application is loaded and now it's time to test how it works. So we will uh, get some uh, cool image for my CV. I will put here my, I will put here my name, date of birth. Oh no, I'm very old man. Some phone, some email. Uh, position and description and click generate CV. And now Flutterflow sends request to APX flow and as you can see we generated some very very cool looking CV like very basic definitely but uh, it works and you can see result here so that's how you can generate a PDF with image uploaded from Flutterflow and uh, built into your template as you can uh, imagine this provides you this endless possibility to embed the graphics inside of PDF and uh, definitely you can send uh, some URL already uh, stored somewhere images but this is different case it's like uh, insert the image from link it's very simple you only need to send link to epx flow so sending uh, a just uploaded image is more tricky uh, uh, task but as you can see it also works in a few clicks in a few minutes i hope you enjoyed this video thank you for your time and i have uh, one more surprise to share with you and the important things i want to share is that uh, like actually two uh, things related to our pricing so until october 16 uh, you have ability to upgrade to pro account very uh, for very affordable pri price for very efficient price uh, with discount of 30 percent if you thinking about uh, extending uh, your development abilities with uh, powerful tool set like api flow it's very good opportunity to get this um, discount and to have a uh, very efficient price and uh, also it applies to uh, annual plan too so I, I i suppose it's very 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 cool to save money using the discount and another one uh, also very important uh, news that i want to share is that now pdf documents generation is available in any plan starting from trial uh it's also available in starter plan for free it's kind of limited on uh, lower plans as you can see it's uh, 50 uh, pdf generations and uh, 500 pdf generations if we talk about growth plan but for pro plan it's unlimited pdf generations so you can uh, use uh, any amount of templates any amount of pdf generations it's very flexible and very powerful I hope you liked today's video about new features that we introduced into PDF. More updates coming soon. So thank you for your attention and have a nice day.